Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to Punched Out Thursday with Kathy, Krista, and myself. I will be using my How to Kill a Kit with Style, and I'm going to use these punches right here. This one has several punches. It's by Marvy, I believe it is. And I am going to mostly use the cat and the bats. And I'm going to put the cats along with I cut this as a border. It's just a striped, well, a very nice striped sheet with uh, different lines on there. And I figured it was in the paper kit to use as a border. And it wasn't a full sheet. So I just cut some parts off that I wanted to use. And the bat one is more narrow. It didn't take as much and it had swirls on it. So I thought the bats would look better on that because you know, you see the bats flying around here and there. And so I've got one going one direction, one the other and so on on here. Um, the rest of the punch, you can see where they're sitting over there to the side, the rest of the punches that I had. I am going to use on the a couple of them on the layout too. And I thought I'd use this border punch because that one piece, I decided it wasn't quite wide enough, the one with the cats, since I was putting it at the base of my page. And I thought, well, I could do a border and make it thicker because I am using that paper right there and I've got to cover all that stuff up. <laughs> I did not decide that till after I cut my border though for the cats to rest on. And uh, that's going to be, I'm just going to put it up high enough to help cover that uh, girl. And it is pretty. I mean, it, well, if you want to call creepy crawly things pretty, um, they do look kind of Victorian still, even though they are creepy crawly things. But it didn't seem to go with my pictures. And so I decided I'd just cover it all up. I do like the rest of the paper, and I like that. I just couldn't see using it. Uh, the picture is of my granddaughter, and she went with her other grandmother trick-or-treating in this little bitty town uh, close to us, and uh, their grandma has relatives there, and so sometimes they'll go there on Halloween. And they all have their houses decorated, their yards decorated, and so the girls have a blast when they go. That one was taken after dark because they wanted their picture taken with ghosts. So it is pretty dark, and I just went ahead and put it in the background and thought, at least it'll be on my layout. And I am going to use this, that that um, cob, uh, cobweb, that spider web is actually a die and all the dies that I use on this layout I got in a set from Peachy Cheap one time oh two three years ago it's been a while it has a gigantic at least I felt like it's a gigantic witch on there and word Halloween and I don't know what all it's got several things it does have that spider web in the bunch and um, other things and I don't know why I didn't just show it but I wasn't even thinking about it when I was doing the layout. I'm cutting them in half because I thought I have a border at the bottom and I'd like a border at the top and I wanted the spider webs and I thought, well, it'll look pretty good with the circles of orange behind them, which I did ink each circle with the rusty hinge. And it's also that embossed paper from uh, K and Company that I've had a long, long time. I might get it used up now that I've actually got it out where I can use it. And that's a doily. And uh, I just cut it in half so I could save part of it to go on another layout. I do have a, well, almost full package. I've used a few. And I am not sure where I got them from. I'm kind of thinking I ordered them online from Joanne, but I can't say for sure. That Halloween with the crow came in that peachy cheap deal of the day. And I'm going to be using those letters there and their jelly bean soup. And I got them on a peachy cheap deal. I like getting the peachy cheap deals. You'll be able to tell. All that cauldron was in that die set. And while doing 15 minutes of a creative activity a day, I played with that and made that. But I'm going to 
think about it in a second and I'm going to show you how it looks before I got a hold of it. I took vellum and attached it where I thought the water should be and then I uh, put Wink of Stella on it to make it glittery and I thought it still needs bubbles. So I had a dot embossing folder so I laid it on it and used my stylus to make the bubbles. And the hand didn't go all the way down, so I just made it go all the way down when I added it and used the green paper for it. And uh, you know what? I'm thinking I need some flames for it. I might have to go back and add some flames. Huh. They, we, I've already got my pictures printed and everything. I, well, I'll do another layout. My other granddaughter was there the same night, and I'm going to have to lay out for her page. So I will do another with a cauldron and have flames shoot out of it. Well, not shoot out of it. Come around, curve around the bottom. I used a one-inch punch and punched out one of those circles there. And it says, that one says boo, and I put a ghost on it. And I think that's, no, I use one more over on the cauldron. And I'm putting adhesive on the cat and the, that one is supposed to be a pumpkin. I guess not a jack-o'-lantern since it don't have no eyes out of it. But uh, yeah, it's, it is a pumpkin. And I put uh, foam adhesive behind the cauldron so it'd stand up a little bit. I tried it in couple of different places there and to get the legs look decent but yeah it's going to get a little more decoration it's going to have I'm going I'm going to remember something that I need to put on my page in the rediscover your stash Facebook group labels is the focus for the month so I'm going to put a label over there on that cauldron before the layout is done and now I'm putting um, dots. These are kind of sparkly. They're not the um, smooth. Well, they are smooth. But anyway, they, they aren't the flat uh, kind of color. They are sparkly like they have glitter in them. And I did get them off a peachy cheap deal one time too. Um, but I looked at it and I thought it would be done. And then and that's when I remembered the label. So I looked in my little cup that I keep on the desk there and found one. But it's white. So I looked a little bit longer because of that. But I finally decided to use it. And I used old paper distress ink on it to make it look older. And all I'm going to do is write on this. I, I have no letters small enough to use. But I put toil and trouble on it. And... I'm just going to put it right across there with the other one that says eek. And if I had had another label that was orange, I would have probably done it over because I kind of run out of room at the end. So the second word's a little bit smaller than the first word. Um, that is the one I'm going to fussy cut out that says eek. And it's kind of got um, scallops all the way around it. So I couldn't use the punch on it and had to cut it out by hand. I will add some foam tape behind it, and then my layout will be done. Well, at least it'll look done at the moment. I am going to add some Heidi Swap. Um, I think it's black velvet color shine. I'm going to splatter it on the page, and you will see that I did do that when I went back and took the pictures. In fact, I took all the pictures, then thought of that and put it on there. Then thought, oh, I need some more. And so I reached back under my desk, which I have one of those totally Tiffany underneath the desk, little rack things for mixed media. And I pulled out the tinsel. And it's kind of a grayish silver. And I put it on there and I thought, oh, I do not like that. So that's why I have a couple of bigger blotches. I am covering up the tinsel. And I went one little dot at a time till I got them all covered up. But since it is a Halloween layout, I figured it wouldn't matter too much having a little blotchy here and there. But if uh, you look below, you will see the links to Krista and to Kathy, and you need to check out their layouts. They'll have something fantastic with their punches. And also, I will leave a, a list of everybody with their links. It's doing the How to Kill a Kit with Style this month. 
so much inspiration down there in the comment section. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I'll be sure to answer. You can ask any questions or just chat. Either one's fine with me. And if you like the video, hit a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.